Hey everyone, it's Andy Zitzman, founder of the Game Time Movement, where I'm on a mission to helping you and one million other people step up your game. In this short three to five minutes every day, I'm going to provide you with inspiration, motivation, and empowering information so that you can wake up, have a little pick-me-up, get fired up so that you step up on a daily basis. So get ready, because it's time, it's your time, it's game time. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Andy Zitzman, and welcome to today's show today. We're keeping it going. That's right. We are in a series called The Seven Cardinal Rules in Life by Stephen Covey. And if you don't recall, Stephen Covey wrote the book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And we are going through his seven cardinal rules. These are the rules that complement his book. And so, you know, I I just love this, that we're going through these because, you know, it, it allows me to learn and grow along with you and to actually like focus on something each and every day. And so today, rule number four, Rule number four is no one is the reason for your own happiness. No one is the reason for your own happiness except yourself. Waste no time, waste no time and effort searching for peace and contentment and joy in the outside world. Wow. Now that's a powerful one. Waste no time and effort searching for peace and contentment and joy in the outside world. No one is the reason for your own happiness except you. Now, that's a toughie. You know, I think that we all know that to a certain degree, that, you know, happiness, joy, contentment, it really comes from the inside. But I think that the fact that we know that and that we practice that or accept that are two totally different things. I mean, I know in my life that in in my 20s, I had no clue what was happiness. In fact, I thought money, material things, and you know, career, those things alone, that if I just excelled in those areas, that I would be happy. You know, and I and I learned the hard way. I got all those things and you know, I played that game of more. I wanted more and more and more and I'd get more and then I'd have, you know, I'd, I'd feel happy for a very short period of time, but then I wanted more. You know, more is never enough. The the external things, the outside world is never enough. You know, but for Stephen Covey to say waste no time, I mean waste no time on the outside world for our happiness, that's a tough one because it feels good. You know, we get the watch, you know, we get the car, we get the new career, we gain some significance, we get some more money, we get the house, right? Those things feel good and we are trained over and over and we see them over and over, you know, in the media that that's what happiness is, that having those things is what is happiness. But the reality is deep in our heart, in our soul, when we tap in there, we know that that's where the happiness comes from. And that happiness, first and foremost, has to, first and foremost, we must, we must have an amazing relationship with ourselves. We must have inner peace to truly be happy. And so what a great reminder today to just look around the things that we have. You know, I look around this room and, and I live in a pretty nice place. I will, I'll be honest. And I look at it and I feel blessed and I'm grateful. But I know today, I know now, that this will never make me happy. And that as long as I'm right here and I'm right here and I'm right here. And for those that are listening, I just pointed to my mind, my heart, and my soul. As long as I'm right there and I have peace there and I continue to look there and grow there and change there, then I can absolutely have happiness, contentment, and joy. It starts from within. And if we continue to chase everything in the outside world for that peace, contentment, joy, and happiness, we are in for a long road. It will never be enough. So no one is responsible for your own happiness but you. You know this. It's time, it's your time to look inside, find that peace, and bring yourself to happiness, joy, and contentment. It's game time. Hey, thanks for tuning in today, and thanks for stepping up your game. Here's what you can do to spread the movement. Go to GameTimeMovement.com and be sure to share your Game Time Moment of the Day, your GMOTD, so that others will feel compelled to share their Game Time Moments too. And if you haven't already, 
Subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, and please be so kind to leave a rating and review so that we can reach 1 million people and encourage them to step up their game too. This is Andy Zitzman reminding you, it's your time, it's game time, till next time.